here we go, onto the beach. I don't know what this will be like. Haven't been down here for weeks now. One thing's for sure, it'll be windy and dark. Can you see me? No, of course you can't, because I'm down at the pool end of the promenade and I don't know, something about pool, they don't like lights, so you might be able to see behind me, there's Bournemouth, street lights everywhere. As soon as you get to the pool end, nothing. Anyway, here's a runner. Morning. So there you go, we're off the beach and uh, heading out towards Sandbanks now. That's the lights of pool over there. We'll be going through there shortly. Cool, we're going to come back out here in a minute, but uh, just adds a couple of K onto the ride, which I really need to do this uh, month. I'm falling behind quite badly. And uh, yeah, I still ride in the rain, so there's no excuse about the weather. You know, I've just been doing other things, so I'll go around here, get a couple of extra K added on, and uh, every little helps, I think the saying goes. another benefit of sticking in a couple of extra k's while you're on the road it's not just the extra distance but um, it just gives the light a chance to come out before I get onto the trails because they are going to be dark and wet yeah I could be riding through anything but uh, anyway hopefully by the time I get up to the castle main trail head towards Wimborne it'll be light enough to be able to see what I'm doing the moon over there, you won't be able to see it probably, but it's looking very misty, which usually means rain is coming. But then it's December, and it's already 12 degrees. I mean, it's really mild. No ice, no snow. To be honest, we don't usually get much of that down on the south coast, but and we certainly don't get it usually until February, March. So this, is, this area is called Beta, uh, it's sort of a, a shortcut avoiding the roads from uh, Lilliput that we just went through into Pool Town Centre and it's a really useful one actually. However, you can tell we're in Pool because there's still no street lights and you really do have to watch out for dog walkers because they still walk their dogs in the pitch black. and. Of course they tend not to have lights or reflectives on them you know which they're not obliged to do i get that but you just got to be aware and if you see a jogger don't just assume they're out jogging because chances are there's a dog racing along behind them so you just got to keep that in mind so anyway this is pool harbour world famous Pool Harbour. Lots of history here. And there's my boat. I've told them not to leave it there. Anyway, yeah, still a working harbour. Cross channel ferries, pirates and legend, but uh, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. So. So this is Holes Bay, which is effectively the back end of the uh, harbour. So where we were at Sandbanks, where the ferry was, that was the entrance, very narrow. It's actually got a very narrow um, 
deep channel pool, uh, which is probably one of the reasons why they haven't had cruise ships here. But uh, also, of course, 30 miles down the road, we've got Southampton, so traditionally the cruise ship terminal. But effectively, this is the back end of the harbour now. And uh, I believe once upon a time, it was the second largest naturally occurring harbour only to Sydney in Australia. Others may have been made bigger since, but uh, I think Paul naturally was the second largest in the world. So there we go. Ah oh, yes, we're in the mud now. <laughs> Heading round to Upton House. And the start of the Castle Main Trailway, which will take us up to Wimborne. Oh yes, you can hear the grit in the uh, in the discs already. <laughs> Doesn't take long. But it's a good bit of good bit of gravel. Still got to watch out for the dog walkers, but uh, yeah, good bit of gravel. Oh, bloody hot! Oh, that was a bit heavier than I expected. I still need to lose a few pounds. That's probably why. This next bit is really rough. So we'll have to see how the camera does on this. There is a cycle path on the right, but I always find it's better to stay on the road here because otherwise you do have to stop at every junction. At least if you're on the road, you have right of way. You gotta watch this slip road on the left because they come flying down there and they don't see you. There's a big wide open roundabout, so of course they look to just go straight through. good traction today usually it's not the incline it's the traction that beats you on that one we did well today Morning. Morning. 
on in. Now, will we fit today? Sometimes I fit, sometimes I don't. This is the tightest one on the trail. Oh, yes! And we're through. So we're heading down into Wimborne now. We need to cross Wimborne to the other side. Head out of town towards Blanford. Morning, passing on your left. Thank you. Oh, so that was the road between Wimborne and Blanford. And I'd forgotten just how spiky some of those little hills are. I mean, they're nothing because they're not very long, but yeah, when you don't have many hills to practice on, even the little ones get you. We're now on the North Dorset Trailway. And uh, as you can see, it's mostly farmland here. Again, it's a rail trail. Uh, there's a few bridges. There is an old railway station at Shillingstone. They do have volunteers there still running the station and a cafe. There's some wooded parts of the trail, but it's mostly through farmland. So here we go. This is what you might consider the rolling hills of Dorset. So we've left Blanford behind us, we've just gone through Stour Pain, and uh, the trail continues. I think we uh, come to Shillingstone next.
only thing I'd say about the North Dorset Trailway is that it is quite bumpy. It's sharp railway scalping, so it's not a particularly smooth surface. On a mountain bike, fine. On a commuter bike or gravel bike with 40 mil tires or up, fine. Uh, I'm on a gravel bike with 35s, 55 in the back, 50 in the front, because you know I'm a big lad and it's easy to squash them. So I have to say, in places, it's a bit rough on the wrists. And if you're a weight weenie with 20 or 19 mil tyres, well, it's up to you, but your wrists are going to hurt by the end of the day. It's a very different view now. In the summer, that embankment is just a wash of bright colours and beautiful flowers. Quite a transformation, in fact. Morning. Right. So this is definitely an out and back. We might take a little detour when we get to Wimborne on the way back, but uh, yeah, back down the trail. Passing on the right. Thank you. Cool.
I know I've said this before, but when you live next to the uh, sea on the coast in the south here, two things are going to happen when you sort of start heading home. First of all, it's probably going to get warmer. Morning. Probably by a couple of degrees at least. The other thing is, it's predominantly downhill to the coast, so however hard it was getting to where you're going, as long as the winds aren't too bad, it's always going to be easier going home. And to be honest, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Guessing. It's December. <laughs> Crying out loud. <sighs> it's at least 12 degrees. Well, the phone says it's 12 degrees. I think it's a bit more personally. A tiny bit of chill in the air, but uh, only enough to say it's December, not to say that it's cold. I mean, oh, look at the state of that. I'm not sure Shimano had this as a design brief when they put Tiagra together. So, we're at Blanford at the moment. This is the main Blanford ring road that's above us, which is what the noise is. That's the cars going over the top. And um, back down to Wimborne. Wimborne and then Bournemouth and home. So uh, let's go. Bloody cyclists. So found a pool along the beach and um, in the shower, I think. But uh, anyway, not a soul. Everybody's at the shops. Passing on the right. Thank you. Passing on the right. Thank you. Oh, hands are starting to, a bit pins and needles setting in. But then, I suppose you would if you had to support 250 pounds over chunky stuff for a few hours. It doesn't matter what month or day of the year it is, when the weather's good, this is what happens in Bournemouth. Everybody just comes down the beach.
We'll all be down here on Christmas Day running into the sea. We do it every year, it's for a local charity. So uh, if you're in Bournemouth, come down to Boscombe Pier at about 10 o'clock. It's a sight to behold, you don't have to come in, but just the crowds that watch. Definitely worth a look on Christmas morning. So here we are back again, bike's an absolute mess. Uh, okay, so that was uh, 120k, six hours moving time and uh, 616 meters of elevation. Uh, like I say, we don't have too many big hills around here, so uh, the elevation is never gonna be massive. But uh, anyway, that's what today's ride was. And uh, now it's time to strip this thing down and get it ready for tomorrow, because it's hitting the gravel again tomorrow. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Thank you. 